It sounds like Chris is going to be on the grinder for about an hour. I want to see how much this Dremel they can get taken apart in that amount of time. inside the wheel well on the passenger side and I'm just not sure exactly what these fasteners are it almost seems like there's a nut welded or somehow secured I'm not sure it's um whatever it is it's kind of weird those two oh those two fasteners look like some sort of homemade solution of some sort well we took the top one out and this bodes really well in that what someone's done is they've taken an oversized nut and put it through the bolt to shorten the length of the bolt. Uh, I don't know why you would do that instead of just, they already cut it down. They already cut the, well, huh. You could have just gotten a shorter bolt or you could have just cut this one down or you could have just driven the nut, sorry, could have driven the bolt all the way in. I don't know why they made that little spacer out of that nut. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to discover all kinds of weird homemade on the fly garage solutions like that. This will be interesting. So just trying to get this bottom one out and I got to the point where it's spinning loose, but it's not moving. And then I just pulled a fender and Hey, Hey, look at that. Just, uh, everything's just rusted all the way through. That's why. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. There's going to be a lot of body work. Oop. There's going to be a lot of body work to have to do to bring this sucker back to life. That's right, I said sucker. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Hey, the fender's off. So far, all the fasteners I've taken off of this have been just standard fractional inch size threads and bolts. But it, these two appear to be metric which means there's going to be a mixture of metric and inch fasteners on this which also tells me it's been monkeyed with a lot over the years a lot of uh, a lot of old mistakes done do and look at that I think that's an attempt at fixing all of this rust Ooh. seems as though yeah just slapped a piece of sheet steel behind there and painted it. Screwed it in with a couple tuck screws and called it good, but uh, didn't really fix the problem, did it? Okay, so just trying to disassemble what was left of the clutch mechanism and such. And this is what was behind it. Chris, what is this? That is a piece of Trex. Have you ever, you ever seen that on a car before? I've seen it on a lot of decks. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. So that's about the level of uh, craftsman. I don't blame AMC for this. This is some sort of, this is an aftermarket performance feature upgrade here that somebody decided to add some, um, some decking as a spacer. 10 extra miles per gallon. This is going really well. Whatever you do, do not put slotted head screws on a car, because inevitably this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna rust to shit and you gotta use bolt cutters to get it off. Just don't do it. Why use a little bit of silicone when you can use a baseball size wad of silicone? Jeez. What a mess. Ugh. Funny things happen when you pull on a wire and you get a chunk of the interior and then some wires that started nowhere and then went even further to nowhere. This is going really well. But we got that out. That's good. We're getting there.
Well, we made a good amount of progress in a short amount of time. Got both fenders off, so now we got the wheel wells exposed, which is nice. You have to figure out what all to do about this suspension. I am leaning towards just trashing all of it and building a whole new thing from scratch because there's no real reason to keep any of this AMC engineering. Got a lot of the other stuff cleared out of the engine compartment. All the old rusted brake cylinder, clutch stuff, all the wires that go nowhere. Found out the headlights are pretty much garbage. They're all rusted to hell and the plastic adjusters on them have all corroded and snapped. And I might be able to find stuff on eBay, but there's no reason to keep that part. I'm just gonna just build a new headlight mount from scratch. I think it's probably the way to go. If I was taking this apart with the intention of putting it back together again properly, or as it was, I would be collecting and inventorying all this hardware. But honestly, all these nuts and bolts are so rusted and so corroded and so useless that they're all just gonna get trashed. We're gonna have to replace all that hardware anyway, so that's why I'm not bothering to take the time to bag or sort or label any of it. Otherwise I would, but this is gonna be this is gonna have to be a ground up job. Alright, I'm gonna shop back all this up and get on with my day. Now this is a fun one. I was just trying to clean this up with a shop vac and as the shop vac pulled this layered paint off, all the metal came with it. So, the load bearing paint. This is pretty bad though and we've got the same corrosion. Look at that. We've got the same corrosion on both sides, pretty much in the same spot where that pillar comes down and the fender mounts. Wow. So that's probably some sort of engineering failure that allowed moisture to build up on both sides there. Gonna, gonna have to do something more than just paint over that. Whoop. Whoop. And then this is the driver's side pillar, which has almost the exact same corrosion pattern as the passenger side. Look, there's a, whoop. wow. That's a, uh, wow. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to do some sort of repair there and might have to figure out a drainage system so that this doesn't happen in the future. That's pretty bad. The last little thing I want to point out before I wrap up this video is this stellar modification that somebody made. Based on the engine that was awkwardly sitting in here when I bought this, I think they cut this away so that the air cleaner could actually fit in there. And as you can tell, they really took their time and did a really clean job, which I think just reflects the, the care that's gone into this car over the years. It's that attention to detail that really, really lets it stand apart. However, with the chipped away blue paint there, you get a little taste of what I think was the factory color on this car. That nice mint puke green that was ever so fashionable in the 70s. It's a, it's a living time capsule of bad decisions. Onward. And just in case you were gonna ask, it seems as though this brake master cylinder has, still has a little bit of fluid in it. So I will drain this fluid and dispose of it properly. Don't throw that stuff in the trash, guys.